Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't uploaded in a couple months, but I'm back on YouTube. The first botting location I want to show is maybe the weirdest one I've ever seen. Dozens of level 30s with mithril spears are going into a private instance in the Corporal Beast cave. Nobody is talking about it online, and I've found no public Corporal Beast bots. The strangest thing is that they have such low stats, I don't know how they can do much damage to the Corporal Beast. So usually I have a lot of answers about these bot farms, but this time I'm asking you guys, what do you think is going on and why do you think that they only specifically join the bounty hunter world can a hundred or so of these bots actually kill the corporal beast with 30 attack and 45 strength if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comments asap since they're going into the private instance it means they're all in a clan chat and i tried joining every single one that i saw as clan chat for about 30 minutes i counted over 50 of these bots but they were smart about it and i couldn't get into the clan chat to spy on them inside the cave. I also tried to track them down and it looks like they're dying in Lumbridge and going back to the bank and teleporting back to the cave. Hopefully I'll be able to find more information on the bots and include them in the next video. A quick shout out to today's sponsor of this video. Do you see this hair? Do you see the spikes? Do you see how amazingly groomed it is? When you're well groomed you feel kind of like this. You know who doesn't need Manscaped? Bots. But Manscaped makes safe razors, especially the electric ones. So you don't have to worry about cutting yourself and it saves a lot of time. So if you use the code SirPugger, you'll get 20% off. The link is in the description, check it out. And I'll talk more about it at the end of the video. Here's a spot that was once full of hundreds of emblem farming bots. It ran for months and generated over 500 million GP per day for the owner of the bot farm. I made a couple videos luring these bots and getting a lot of GP. But now, there's absolutely no one here thanks to the old school RuneScape team. Forget about tier 10s being tradable, which is a cool update, but to combat emblem farming, the BH world is now limited to players with 300 plus total level and 25 hours plus of game time. It's been over a month since this update was rolled out and there are still no bots. And honestly, huge props to the old school team for listening to the community. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let's get into Revenant bots. I've been hearing about bots at Revenants for a couple months now, and finally I looked into it and looked up through discords and botting websites how the bot actually worked. And it's one of the most advanced bots out there. A lot of accounts make between 600k and 4 mil per hour, depending on how many PKers are hopping around worlds, what their range level is, and how lucky they are with the higher price drops from Revenants. But obviously at a place like Revenants, where there are PKers hopping in a world every two minutes, botting there seems unreal reasonable and unprofitable. And this is what surprised me most. The bots have something called gear recognition. So gear scanning is part of the advanced anti-PKer system that these bots have. Basically, the bot is able to look at what each player is wearing and it has some sort of formula where if there are too many PK type gear items, the bot will understand that the player is a PKer and log out or teleport. You don't even have to be sculled for the bot to realize you're a PKer. For example, if I'm wearing the purple hat, which is a well-known clan item, as well as the Saradaman cape, those are two items that people PBMing at Revenants would never wear, and therefore the bots would teleport. So not all of the bots wear monk robe tops, but it seems like they all have one defense. I met this bot named Frank, and I know dropping relatively valuable loot on the ground doesn't make somebody a bot when they go try to pick it up. But if you do it again and again and again, and the exact same thing happens, it's likely that the guy's a bot. First of all, let's look at his stats. They exactly match the pattern of all the other bot stats that I find. You have 34 strength, 
37 attack, 20 slayer. It's basically stats for Ava's accumulator. Most of the bots actually have over 95 range. Frank was a baby bot. But here is the final piece of evidence that Frank is a bot. When Frank gets teleblocked, he doesn't run away, even if you don't entangle him. Frank just runs south to a very specific tile and tries to teleport while you kill him. In fact, if you stop attacking Frank while he's teleblocked, he doesn't run away still. I just thought I'd use Frank as an example. I've actually been killing these bots for a while, so I knew exactly what he would do. But as smart as these bots are, if you're dressed as a Revenant's PVM and suddenly teleblock them, they have no way of combating that. As you can see by poor Frank's example. Here's another bot probably in the same farm because it uses the name Fred instead of Frank. Anyway, this one's a much older bot because it has well over 99 range. So how much money has this bot made at Revenants? Well, let's lowball it and say it's only making 1 mil per hour. Let's say it's gotten 10 million range experience here because it probably started botting here at a little over 80 range. You also could really only push about 30,000 range experience per hour here. 300 hours at 1 mil per hour, this bot's made over 300 mil. And that's likely not including all of the rare drops. It could get an emblem worth 16 million GP or a crossbow. So I hunted and killed these bots for about five hours. There are so many of them, like every three or four worlds or so you can find them. One of the major problems though is that the script has a limit of loot where if you surpass that limit, the bot teleports. So if the bot gets anything good whatsoever, any kind of emblem or even over like 100 or 200k loot, it's gonna bank it. So every single kill I got was roughly 100 to 200k max. I mean, killing the bots is still really good money per hour, but it's just a little disappointing because if the bot didn't bank when it got some sort of emblem, it would be really sick to get like a five mil PK. So overall, I made a little bit over one mil per hour doing this. Most of that is in ether or the Ethereum bracelet. But there's a major problem trying to hunt these bots now. In the last couple days, Jagex released an update where if you go to Nightmare Zone or Clan Wars, you can't lose your PK skull anymore. For something minor like this, it's absolutely terrible because now after every bot you kill, you would have to wait for your PK skull to go away. Otherwise, the bots obviously recognize that you're skulled and they're gonna teleport or log out from you almost instantly. I'm guessing that update was good for the game overall, but these bots probably also make more money now. A larger portion of the PKers are gonna be skulled when they hunt these bots, which makes it a lot easier for the bots to understand who a PKer is. As you guys probably know, there are a ton of real players gold farming at Revenants. It's a very popular spot for Venezuelans. And every once in a while, I don't find a bot for a few minutes, and there are like 10 of these accounts per world, so I kill them. Something interesting they do, though, is they have a very low-level account with just protection prayers, and right before they die, they drop their loot to the low-level account that obviously nobody else can attack. Just in case you want to bring a low HPG mauler out there and make some big money. Anyway, though, they're much better loot than the bots. This guy has had 400k. And then there was this guy with a crossbow and a 99 range cape. When I checked his stats, they looked relatively similar to the bots. So I thought I'd give it a shot, but it turns out he's definitely not a bot. I still went after him because he had a crossbow and obviously risked quite a bit. I was getting really tired of making at max 200k per bot I killed, so you gotta pick off the guys risking a lot more. And got a nice 350k PK. So, I recorded all of that Revenant bot footage over two to three months ago, and I just went back to check up on it, and there are maybe triple the amount of bots, and I did some research. A new, extremely popular Revenant bot came out, which means there are hundreds more bots out there than when I originally made the video. Some of the botters are new, and they don't have right-click options enabled, but I would definitely go try to skull trick and PK all of the Revenant bots you can find. All right, let's see if we can find some bots here. He just tried to pick it up. Oh, this level 70 is sketchy. Look at this guy's stats. Huh, he looks like the other bots. What about Gabri? This is also level 70. Yeah, same stats. Oh, no. The botting outbreak continues. With the blowpipe! Scold! No! Oh my god! Some bots- Oh my god! Some bots- I just got a blowpipe, didn't I? Yep. Okay. You can lure the new bots. 3.2 mil. No way, guys. Fucked up, Fred. You remember him? 
You remember him? Three months later, he's here with 30 million range experience. Let's head over to the next botting location in Camelot. Oh, I bet you guys didn't expect that. This is my second 99 on old school RuneScape. The only other 99 I've ever gotten was in fire making. I know a lot of you have like maxed accounts or have plenty of 99s, but even just buying this cape is insane. Eventually I'll be able to spell book swap and kill even more players. And yes, I did run into multiple bots buying runes from the wizard in the wizard guild literally i can't even buy my 99 skill cape without running into two separate bots within a one minute period there have been problems going on in the next area i'm going to investigate for a very long time this reddit post was uploaded over a year ago and it has over 400 people upvoting it and 300 comments agreeing with it every single world at lizard man shamans seems to have a bot or a gold farmer, usually incredibly low level, who are probably there to farm dragon warhammers. I didn't know that Lizardman shamans are even that profitable, but they're kind of out of the way and I could see how this could be going under the radar, even though it's such a big problem for such a long time. So I got the Zaya favor required to access the bosses and every world I check, I immediately see levels 60 through 100 with suspicious stats. Here's one example of one of the lower levels. It has almost no stats and its highest skill is range. This wouldn't be that suspicious, but on every single world you can find accounts almost exactly like these. So far, they've never responded to me. I can't tell if they're bots or gold farmers, but you can also tell that all they do on the account is farm the Lizardman shamans because from the canon, their range level is disproportionately higher than their hit points. So for example, this level 76 has 88 range, but only 69 hit points. That means it's been gaining a ton of range XP from cannoning, which doesn't give hit points experience. Since it seems like it's actually pretty easy to kill the Lizardman Shamans on a level 60 some account, it makes sense that the spot might be bought at a gold farm because the accounts required to kill the bosses take almost no time to make. Then there are some not so low levels here who seem like they've been at the Lizardman Shamans for literally hundreds of days. This level 96, for example, his name is kind of like John Wick, has similarly low level stats to the other accounts and its melee stats are even 70s except it has 99 range with over 41 million range experience that's enough to get 99 hit points if you're not using a cannon but his hit points is only 94 which means he's probably been here cannoning since well before 99 range this account has been doing lizard man shamans for literally hundreds of days straight the real question though is how many dragon war hammers did he get? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be uploading lots of bot busting content in the next month, so make sure you're subscribed and leave in the comments any other locations you've seen botters or gold farmers. And guys, remember to check out the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. They do have quite a few cool products. This is their website and the link is in the description. Don't forget, you get 20% off if you use the code SIRPUGGER. Side note, it was on Shark Tank, which is really cool. So if you're interested, YouTube Manscaped on Shark Tank. It's pretty sweet.